Hello guys, welcome back to AWM FX. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, no matter where you are. Hopefully you guys out there are doing great, earning a lot of money from the market and taking great care of your health. So today I'm going to share a trade, all right, a trade that I've uh, uh, shared with my second batch mentorship students, uh, which are actually puzzled them, all right. So it's nothing special actually it's nothing special it's all because of the uh so-called we call it the uh price structure all right of course i analyze you using the price structure and uh using supply and demand so combining everything i came up with this uh trade all right so what is the trade is all about so first of all let me uh do some replay first all right so just play over here easy for me to find so basically, when I share about this uh, uh, thread, all right, this setup, I let them know that there is a huge, all right, there is a huge drop base drop, or uh, even better, this is a demand, uh, sorry, supply zone for uh, daily structure, all right, this is demand zone for daily structure. So the price actually hit the area, all right, went into the area. So I went into small time frame, all right and see that there's actually in fact a structure break right there is a structure break very very obvious the price broke the structure when it reached the area all right so it means that there is a high chance the price is reversing and by the way if we go back to daily chart the overall trend is actually downtrend so it is a benefit for us if we know that the whole trend is going downtrend and of course we are doing a sell all right so Go back to the H1, one hour chart. So basically, when it has broke the structure, it gives me confidence that the overall price is going to reverse soon. So I asked them to wait. Actually, it's quite some time before the start of the uh, mentorship. So actually, we start. I start the second batch is on the 1st of June. So I asked them to wait and wait and wait. Why? It's because I can see the price moving up and down, forming what? Forming obvious this one. Ah, this is what I call it as a fake out, right? That is a obvious fake out. So it fake a lot, a lot of time, all right? It happens to fake a lot of time. Uh, you can see that the price has one, two, three, and four fake out before the price came into the zone and then goes down. So now the good question is that how do I identify this zone? So basically, if we look at the whole movement over here on the H1, there is no zone at all. There is no zone at all. So if I go into two hours, actually I don't use two hours. I go to four hours. There is very huge zone, all right, which is not convincing. So what I do is that I go into even lower time frame because I started from daily. I switch it to H1. Now I can go into M30 or M15. Either one will do. Right, so basically when I go to M30, right, in this area, I can see there is a few zones. So there is one zone over here, there's another zone over here, not so convincing, and the other big zone over there. So because of this zone is actually very, very small. Very, very small. It's only less than two pips. All right. Uh, I don't take this kind of risk. All right. It's too risky. Even though it's Euro USD, it's very easy for me to get stop loss. So what I'll do is that I enlarge it to bigger a bit, all right, 14 pips, which is quite comfortable for me, all right. This is the structure way of putting stop loss, all right, which I am going to share with my students, all right, in the mentorship. So I place my stop loss in this zone, all right, above this zone. So basically when the price came into the area, based on all the fake out, all right, whatever happens, came and then what happened next was that the price keep continue going down for a lot a lot of pips so actually i was able to catch only part of it uh i didn't expect the price to go all the way down but for me i'm very happy because my analysis is on point so on point not once but many many times uh of course i share whatever i know with the students and uh it's up to them whether they able to do the same way like i do not based on how hardworking they are all right so come back to here so this is a type of setup from using 
a price structure slowly and then using the supply demand or right, high time frame supply and demand and of course using the combination of a uh, fake out all right this is a liquidity grab and able to catch this whole big movement all right so that's all for today and uh, if you guys like the video that i did for you please go give me a like and a thumbs up of course and subscribe to the channel so I've, i'm gonna promise i'm gonna make at least all right two videos every week from today onwards so that's all for today thank you very much see you guys next time bye